Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Taurus, and this is gonna be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my guardian angel messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot deck. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. To everyone stopping by, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart, my darlings. I thank you so very much to all my subscribers. Oh my goodness, thank you, darlings. Thank you, thank you. To all my viewers, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone. Oh, so Taurus, let's see what messages we have for you. Please take what resonates and please leave what doesn't. Okay, babies, not every message will be meant for you. All right? And anything can change. And they can change because we have free will. So Taurus, this is for you. The balance card. You learned some self-control and balance. Past energy. You learned how to compromise. The queen of air. It might have had something to do with the air energy. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, you got the queen of water here. Now, this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio within your environment as well. The queen of air could be also talking that, you know, I found balance because I started clearing away things that no longer served me in my life. And the queen of water could be saying that because I've been doing all this healing and all this work, looking at my past and all my traumas, it has made me pretty emotional. So you could be pretty feeling quite emotional. Or maybe it's unlock something psychic. I'm not sure. Only you know the situation. You got the queen of water. And you got the eight of water. You're searching for something that's more fulfilling in your life. Or maybe it's time for you to move on from whatever situation you were in. Or you are in. You got the seven of earth. Be patient. It's coming. You invested in something. It's coming. Excuse me. You have the nine of water. Your wishes and dreams come true. We got the five of air. You, maybe you made some mistakes along the way. You got some conflict going on. You got the ten of earth. Unexpected. Income. But enough for you to um, take care of you and your family's prosperity. And then we have the emperor. The emperor could be an energy in your environment who you um, go to for advice. Um, or it could be that you just feel very stable. Maybe you're very structured and disciplined and you're a leader. You are Taurus, the bull. So let's see the balance card. On top of the balance card, you have the king of earth. I would say that's you, Taurus. You got the ten of earth and you got the three of earth. You came into some prosperity, some finances. I mean, ooh, things were looking good for you financially. I mean, your career was taking off. You got the king of earth. You got the ten of earth. And you got the three of earth. On top of the balance card, I see how you got your balance now. Okay. 
Then we got the Queen Air. Now it could be, like I said, it could be that you were clearing away things. Or it could be energy in your environment. The Ten of Water. You got the King of Fire as well. And the Page of Air. So the Ten of Water is about happy family, happy marriage. The King of Air is about you taking a leadership role, stepping into the spotlight. Or this could be a, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. You need to communicate your vision if this is not an energy in your environment. Now, this is above the Queen of Air. I don't know, maybe the King of Fire told you something that was very straightforward. Something that you didn't want to hear, but you needed to hear and it's made you feel emotional. Maybe that's where the Queen of Water comes from. So let's say the Ten of, see, the ten of, ten of Water, the King of Fire, and the Page of the page of air on top of the queen of air. Now the ten of water is about happy family, okay? Happy marriage, happy, you know, happiness. Now it seemed like the king of air came and got involved. And revealed something to you. Whatever, whatever took place in the past here for you, Taurus. He got you feeling stuck. You're reflecting on things. You got the awakening card, which is the equivalent to the hangman. Um, you can't move. You got delays. And the reason you got delays is because whatever you heard, you got to make a decision about it. It's brought a lot of conflict. It was an unwise choice. Oh, I got loose bumps for you. But this is past energy now, okay? There's nothing we can't get out of. If we put ourselves in a situation, we can get out of it. We have the Awakening card. We got the Two of Air and we got the Five of Air. Conflict. Arguments. Maybe because you got to make a decision. Is it a decision between two? An air energy and a water energy? Mm. Or is it a decision between three? Because, I mean, the king of earth sure made sure you knew something. And I just got the three of air here. It's got you really in your head and broken up and broken hearted. There was somebody else involved not too long ago. You got the two of earth as well. It's got you feeling off balance. And it made you want to feel like walking away. But yet you got the empress. And the empress is about abundance and prosperity. Time for you to take action, giving birth to your dreams. Yes, you have some sadness lingering. Forgive yourself for whatever part you had to play in it if you did. Forgive the other person, let it go, you know. Don't let all of this stuff weigh you down. Be able to move on so you can see the magic in your, in your, in your life. So you can open up your heart and love you and start giving love, true love. We can do it, you know. We got the three of air, we got the two of earth, and we got the empress. It's up to you, you know. We all can obtain it. But it calls for deep healing, okay? The seven of earth. Past investments. You got the queen of air. This is the energy in your environment. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. You got the ace of earth. Ooh, a windfall of abundance. An exciting career opportunity and things. Whatever, is going, whatever was going on, things are going to start calming down. It's the end of a challenging time for you. We got the six of air. So you got the queen of air. You got the ace of earth, which could be a new financial opportunity that's going to move you away to some, some place more calm, you know? But things are calming down in your environment. <coughs> the end of your challenging times. The nine of water, your wishes are coming true. You might also be traveling because I got the three of fire and you got the six of air here. You could be traveling or relocating somewhere. Um, you can make plans for the long term. And maybe it's plans with the king of um, air, you know, this air energy. 
Be patient until you decide what to do next, okay? You will have success in your labors. You got, your, you got to keep your eye on the prize, okay? Now, I don't know if it's where this air energy is concerned, but it seems like good things are happening where this air energy is concerned. You got the three of fire, you have the king of air, and you have the star card. On top of the nine of water, your wishes are coming true. Now you got the king of air, king of fire up here, remember in the past, and then you got the emperor here. I don't know if it's the king of fire now. Usually this energy also is like more mature and, you know, they're, they're wise and you have a problem, you can go talk to them. You know, it's not necessarily romantic, but maybe they put something in your air, you know, that caused some issues in the past. I'm not sure. Um, the five of air. Mm. Magic is alive and well in your life, Taurus. But you lost your peace of mind. Things are calming down, okay? Things are calming down. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect right away. You got to work through those times, okay? Take caution and be aware of others' actions. Pay attention to people's actions, okay? You got the queen of earth here. This is you handling the money. You know to take care of the money, don't you? You got the magician. You got the seven air. Be aware. Be aware. But I think you got this handled. Um, it might have been some, some kind of conflict where finances was concerned. I don't know why I feel there. Maybe someone snuck around somebody's back. One of those two scenarios. You got the magician, you got the seven of air, and you got the queen of earth. The queen of earth is you. On top of the five of air. Then you got the ten of earth, it's financial, and it's, it's about love, it's about both. Somebody might have told you a lie, maybe that's what the person told you. You got the four of earth, this is about handling your resources wisely. You got the dreamer, which is about a new beginning, and you got the six of earth, financial balance. You need to push your fears aside, okay? Don't let fear hold you back. You got to become fearless, babies. I've been saying that for a long time. You got the four of earth, you got the dreamer, and you got the six of earth on top of the ten of earth. Darlings, you're going to be fine. You got the emperor on top of the emperor. You're worrying about something, maybe something they said. You got the nine of air, you got the six of fire, and you got the release card. There's going to be ending of something, and when endings come, they always bring new beginnings. Even though sometimes when there's an ending, or not sometimes, a lot of the times, even if we were expecting the ending, it still kind of messes, messes with our heart, you know? I mean, unless you're like, don't have emotions, you know? It's still, you know, you still feel a lot of pain, you know? You still feel that emptiness. But you're gonna be um, victorious for something wherever this ending is concerned. You're gonna be you're gonna overcome a lot of things. You got the nine of air, you got the six of fire, and you got the release card on top of the emperor. So maybe whatever the emperor told you, it got you in your head, and you made the wise cho wise choice of releasing one of the energies. Maybe I don't know. You gotta tell me. So there's going to be a shift in your environment here. So there's going to be something from the past. I don't know. Only you know which one of these energies was the past. If it was the air energy or if it's the water energy. Only you know. You got the six of water. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about love. You know, you're, you're, you're thinking about love. You want to be in love, you know. You're very focused on it. You're going to have a shift in your environment, a sudden expect, unexpected change where love from the past is concerned. It's from the past, all right. That's the seven of pentacles. Okay, now. Hmm. This past, is that you, the queen of water? Did you choose the queen of water? 
We got the seven of earth, we got the king of water, and we got the emperor. Feeling stable, it could be emotionally stable, stability, it could be, you know, just feeling yourself. And you had the seven of earth, this is the past. This is the past. Something about the past. Listen to, listen. Okay, so the other day I was scrolling on TikTok. I was just looking, you know, and this um, video popped up and it said, um, Mercury retrograde. Yeah. And it says, don't be surprised if a X pops up. Okay. So I don't know if that's what it's talking about, but only you're going to know. All right, but whatever it is, you're going to find you some balance. I'm going to pull you one card from my Angels and Ancestors deck. So, you're going to you're going to be balanced. No matter what, you're going to you're going to find balance. You're going to take charge of the situation. You got discipline. You got some discipline. Let's see. We got a message for Taurus. <sighs> Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. So let's see. Take some time to reflect. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. You're a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life. To take time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval where it's due and know when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. It starts with you. Do some self-reflection. Everything is going to straighten up, babies. You have to believe in you. And you do, right? You got to believe with your heart. Set out with integrity, good intentions. Strive to be the best version of you. Open your heart up, okay? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.